there they are, as always. So then I told them, and oh, oh uh, hey, Andrew, how's it going? Uh, nothing much. Don't let me keep your story holding. Uh, you guys, you know that you two are probably one of the most interesting cars I've ever met in this bar. You guys have so many stories to tell. Well, yeah, that means we go out often, obviously. Yeah, what, you just stay here in the cotter pen all day? Uh, is it bad if I said yes? Wait a minute, don't tell me this is the only bar you ever go to. You must go to other places, right? Would it really surprise you if I said I didn't? <sighs> Guys, I'm an old car here. I don't really know my ways around anymore, and the cotter pen's so close to where I live, so this is the only place I ever come to. Unless you guys have a suggestion, I don't think I'm going anywhere for now. They need to go to one special place. Thunder Hollow, that's where I had my most fun. Really? Uh, I've heard of that place before. Isn't that that place where they beat up those cars? Uh, not beat up. They do it for fun and they demo derby all over the Crazy A Stadium. I guess that must be fun, but I don't know. Maybe it's a bit too hectic? Let's tell you what. Tomorrow morning, we go. Me and you. I don't know about Bill here, but yeah, I still have some stuff to do, so you can go with Xanadu. Yep, me and you. Let's go Thunder Hollow tomorrow, and you'll experience with me all the wonders and glories of Thunder Hollow. Meanwhile... Whoa! There's Cruz! There's Cruz! Oh, yes! You see that? She's gonna win another Prisica for us, buddy! Hey, Fritter, can you just tone it down a bit? No! You tone it down! Ah! Uh... Woohoo! Yeah, Cruz! Uh, that's Fritter for you. <laughs> uh, sometimes, Todd, I just think, watch out! Whoa! Uh, that was close. You see, that's what I'm talking about. It's too hectic here. I just want some peace and quiet. I don't know, I just want to go to a normal bar or something. Well, uh, have you considered the cotter pin? With those old timers, really? I think I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate. Well, I mean, you should probably give it a try if you really want something that's less hectic than this. I guess. I mean, I can't really handle another one of Miss Fritter's screams. Woohoo! Alright, that's it. Let's go. Alright. You and me, buddy. <sniffs> Yay, today's gonna be the day that we're gonna have so much fun over there. Roman, you chosen a very good friend to come along with. I mean, you seem more excited than I do, so I guess I'm glad you're happy. Come on, hurry! This is a long way! Aww. Uh, so which way is the cutter pin? Uh, over that way, a little bit down. Huh, alright, thanks. And, by the way, I just realized why we're good friends. Why? We both have Todd as our name? Oh, that makes sense. Come on, let's just go. <sighs> Roman, we're here. We're here. Look, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so peaceful and quiet. <laughs> Oh, Whipper Filter, you're doing really good. Uh, who's she? Oh, uh, that's Fritter. Yeah, you don't really want to go against her. Huh? Oh, uh, who's this feller? Uh, he's Tailgate. Uh, he's new around here, so he doesn't know who Fritter is. What? Wait a minute, you don't know who Fritter is? Well, I'm gonna show you what Fritter is. Uh, I know who you are. Uh, they introduced me to you, so, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, well, good. Or else, you know, you know what would have happened. Ah. Oh, yeah. And don't get complaining about my voice at all, because you know what's going to happen to you if you complain. Uh, okay. No, it's yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Ow, what was that for? Sorry, I, I twitched. All right, good. <laughs> Sorry about that. We can't really do anything about it. Yeah, it's just her rose. Oh man, this place is gonna be messy and noisy and I thought you would like it. No man, this place is noisy. Hey, look! <laughs> look at what Phil Duke is doing. <laughs> oh, look at him! <laughs> okay, this place is getting really, really noisy. <sighs> I thought you'd say that. All right, come on, let's just watch one of the races. Ooh, a race? They have races here? Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, that's all really fun. All right, let's go see. All right. Oh, I wonder how Todd, or I guess the two Todds, are doing right now. Hopefully better than now. So, you two a fan of board games? <sighs> you, you shouldn't have brought me here. I know I shouldn't have.
Hey guys, what is up? It's Little Arky here back again with Articast Review, and this time I'm gonna be reviewing Andrew Ruman and Todd Crash, two background characters who appeared in the Cotter Pin and Thunder Hollow, respectively. Yes, guys, I am doing yet again another double review back to back. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But why am I doing it on two cards who didn't even appear in the same scene together? Well, here's why, and I think you guys should already know this, but these two cards are the brand new background characters that appear in the newest case, Case F. Yes, not even too long ago after Case E and we already have a new case. These two brand new cars along with the Thailand re-release of Metallic Marilyn, Nigel Gearsley's new petty, Nick Pittire, as well as Mater with 95 hat, do make up the brand new cars that are released in this case. Anyways, moving on to their appearances in the movie, Andrew Rubin obviously appears in the Cotter Pin, while Todd Crash is seen in an overhead shot of Thunder Hollow right before it cuts to Jocko Flacco Mac. And just like Steve Hersel, Andrew Rubin is one of the only, if not the only, El Camino model car to be released in the Cars diecast line. Now I say maybe because we do have the Bumper Safe Crew Chief and JW who do look like El Caminos but they are actually not. My best guess is that Pixar did not have the right to use El Camino cars in Cars 1, so they decided to use imaginary models right here, like Bumper Safe Crew Chief and JW, to compensate. However, in Cars 3, obviously, they did gain the right for El Camino cars, so that's why we do have Andrew Ruman right here. Meanwhile, I do think that Todd Crash does have an imaginary model made up by Pixar themselves, and I did get some cars that kind of looked like him, like Tailgate and Airborne, but that's basically as close as you can get to Todd Crash's model. Anyways, let's get on to the packaging here, starting with Andrew Ruman right here, so I should probably turn on my, my flashlight. Wow, I actually forgot for once, so yeah. Anyways, let's get into it right now. Andrew Vrooman seems to have a very smug expression in his card art. Here is the Cars logo for 2018 slash 2019 diecast. Andrew Vrooman is from the Cotter Pin series since we know that that's where he appears in. The back of him shows the light up version of the Cotter Pin logo right here. Cotter Pin bar and grill. And as you can see right here, the bio reads, Friends of the late, great, fabulous of the Hornet gather at the Cotter Pin. And on the bottom are some other cars that are going to be released, such as Andy Bumpers and Bill Revs who have already been released. And then these are the new two cars that have actually been released. I believe they've been found in uh, France again, I think. I don't know. I feel like I've seen an eBay listing of them somewhere. So anyways, let's get on to Todd Crash's packaging since, you know, he is from Thunder Hollow and he is, uh, what's it called, a uh, uh, background character. He may have some more interesting cards on his card back. What's very weird is that his card actually looks like Fair Game, which is kind of stretching it a bit. Again, here is the 2018 slash 2019 cards logo for cards diecast. He was obviously seen in Thunder Hollow, so he would be a part of the Thunder Hollow series. On the back here is a scene from the movie where Miss Fritter is pushing into Sigler, Bill, and Patty. And of course, here are some other cards that will be released in the future. Like, I believe this guy's name is Bob Turner. I'm not sure though. And then here's two other brand new cars. And then of course, Blind Spot is a re-release. So anyways, that wraps it up for the packaging part of the diecast review. And now of course, let's get on to the unboxing. Wow, with them being background characters and them being released in the same case, do you think that these two cars are from the same scene now, wouldn't you? But nope, one's from the Cutter Pin and one's from Thunder Hollow, surprisingly. Also, off screen, I did realize something. You know Miguel Camino, right? Well, his name is a pun of an El Camino. Maybe that proves my theory right? Who knows? And hey, speaking of El Caminos, why don't I review this one right here? So let me get into the review of Andrew Vrooman. Here we go. Just like the previous Thailand releases, as you can see, he does have a very reflective hood. And of course, there is two black stripes, which are probably one of the most noticeable features of his paint job. He has a pair of brown eyes, and as you can see, or actually, I don't even know if you can see this, but... He does have a very grainy ID decal. There's like some dust in his eyes or something like that. On his front here, you can see a very nicely detailed grill along with four headlights. Yep, two on each side and then a very nice smile. And actually, if you see very, very closely, you can see there is an SS logo on his grill. Wow, not only Andrew's one of the first ever El Camino cars to be released, but I believe he is the only non-Piston Cup racer to have light your tires. And of course he has silver rims, or actually no, that's silver gray rims. But who cares? He has light your tires. That's pretty cool. Wow, I don't even know if any other background car diecast has light your tires. I think Andrew Rumor is probably the only one. But if he is not, please correct me in the comment section down below. Moving towards the back here, you can see his pickup section. And as you can see, it's very, very wide and very big overall. 
And obviously it's very empty too. <laughs> Towards the back you can see that he does have very grainy looking tail lights. Which isn't that good, but anyways, moving along from that, here's a black bar, then then there's a SS logo again on the front right here, and on the bottom is his license plate, which reads R08-26E, and I believe it says new, I, I know it says the first word's new, but I, for, I don't know, I can't really read the last part. Uh, it annoys me that the Thailand decals are so grainy, I can't really read them half of the time. And yeah, besides that, he's basically a brown El Camino with two black stripes that make for a very nice, simplistic design. And let me just compare him to the Bumper Safe Crew Chief and JW, so let me just move these Demolition Derby cars out of the way. Hopefully, Airborne doesn't fall down while I'm doing this, but... So yeah, from the front, you can tell that the Bumper Safe Crew Chief and JW have a more rounder, circular front than the actual El Camino right here, Andrew Ruman, because he does have more of a rectangular model rather than the roundish model that JW and the Bumper Safe Crew Chief's uh, models are going for. Actually, here's something else to add on to whether or not these two cars are actually El Caminos. Here's JW's window, and here is Andrew Vrooman's window, and they do not match at all, so yeah. And then moving on towards the back here, definitely Andrew um, Andrew Vrooman does have a wider back than the other two. But yeah, enough of that. Now let me get on to Todd Crash's review. Let me just push these guys out of the way, and let me move in the Demolition Derby cars. Yep, there we go. Um, hopefully this guy, doesn't, this guy doesn't fall down. And let me get on to Todd Crash's part of the review. So first off, his most noticeable feature right here is that he is a very, and I mean very rusty car. I mean, wow, he looks very beat up and very old. And obviously right here, you can see that he doesn't even have his proper hood. I mean, he has probably some other car's hood right here because it's a gray color. Meanwhile, his whole body is yellow. However, on the plus side, he does have some very nice vibrant blue eyes that almost kind of look like McQueen's, actually. As you can see right here, the headlights and blinkers are actually molded inward of the model. So it's kind of like a box poking out right here. And then obviously here is his grill, which looks pretty nice, along with his nice smile. Unlike his sidekick, Andrew Vrooman, he does have very beat up tires. And actually, I'm surprised that Mattel even went to this length to put that detail into his tires. I mean, wow, that's impressive. But besides that, there's just black tires with black rims, so nothing too special. More rust decals outline his side. And then when you get to the back, here's his trunk, which is actually outlined completely by his rust. On his back here are his two taillights, and then some type of like weird circular logo here. And then obviously some rust covering up his emblem for whatever car he's supposed to be. I actually can't find out what model he is, so I'm just going to assume that it is an imaginary model. And then oddly, he just has a plain bumper with no license plate, which seems out of place. I think maybe actually that circle could have been where his license plate used to be, and now it's not there anymore because obviously it's ripped. So I guess that's basically it for Todd Crash's review. And let me just compare him to the other the motion derby races. Let me just push these guys out of the way. So right here is Airborne and Tailgate, who I think most re best resemble res bleh, best resemble Todd Crash right here. Jambalaya kind of, but not too much. So I'm gonna push him away for a bit. And right here, you can see that the hoods kind of look the same, comparing uh, with Airborne. As you can see, they're wide hoods and. I don't know, I think Todd Crash is probably a model of, the model of Todd, I mean, uh, the model of Airborne and Tailgate, but without the dents and stuff, so, I mean, that's, honestly, that's pretty cool. Here on the sides, as you can see, they kind of look similar, I mean, they do have the two, the two windows and then the little dash right here that splits them apart on all three of them, although Tailgate is kind of more thicker, and, but I think that's probably just a modifier, I don't know, I don't think that's, a, that's really a big issue here. And then on the back... Obviously, he's, his uh, bumper would be a lot more bigger than these two because they've been crashing and demolition derbying. But, yeah, they don't look too far apart. So, yeah, here we have it. We're done with this review. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, please sure to comment which car is your favorite, Andrew Vrooman or Todd Crash. I honestly think Andrew Vrooman is the best out of the two because of the fact that he is one of the only El Caminos to be released. But Todd Crash is actually pretty cool as well, especially with his rust decals. And actually, I know this may be a bit last minute, but I actually did find some other cars we could compare these two, so let's make them the background side of these two. So here we have Andrew Vrooman with, right here, is Andrew Bumper and Bill Rebs, two cars from the Cotter Pin series. Right here, they look pretty nice together, honestly. You can imagine them in a bar together. And then here's Todd Crash with, here, you guessed it, rusty cars, as you can see. 
they look pretty nice together and the rust does definitely suit their uh, style so let me just put these guys a little bit more nicely right here and then we can on and off the video so thank you all so much for watching this review hopefully you guys did enjoy it and anyways guys thank you so much for watching again this is little harky say ying peace